on the initiatives that uh, we had taken in Bilda Cellulose uh, pulp and fiber business. Uh, pulp and fiber business, our main product is uh, viscose and uh, lyocell modal fibers, which are made from wood. And these are uh, similar to uh, cotton uh, in characteristics. So uh, we have uh, 12 locations globally, uh, four are in India and eight are outside uh, in India, uh, three in uh, Americas, Canada, uh, Sweden, and China, Thailand, Indonesia, and uh, here in India. So uh, it's quite spread out globally. So being a global company, uh, we are uh, appealing to the global audience. Whenever we talk about sustainability, then uh, uh, most of the uh, brands that we work with are uh, Western brands like Adidas, Nike, uh, Marks and Spencer, H and M, and all that. So uh, uh, to be uh, dealing with the uh, large multinational organizations and the global uh, customers, our sustainability strategy is also oriented uh, globally. So uh, even though uh, most of our plants are located in Asia, uh, first of all, we had uh, taken an initiative that will be uh, applying the best available technologies globally in all our, all our plants. So uh, we adopted the European standards of emission and effluents uh, across all our units. So uh, whether it's in India, because in Asia, the norms are quite relaxed. So uh, we thought that uh, one of the way to show our global leadership would be to have global norms uh, in all our sites. So that uh, two years back, we put a 175 million US dollar investment to upgrade our technologies, especially in the Asian plants, so that we can uh, meet the global norms of emission, especially the stringent uh, European norms. So that project is still going on and more than half of our plants are now already compliant to the European norms. And that also makes us uh, ready for the future uh, because in case India or uh, uh, Thailand, Indonesia, China, wherever we operate, uh, uh, the tighter norms come, then we are already ready with the, the, the norms. Another uh, initiative was uh, uh, on the water side, uh, we wanted to reduce our water uh, intensity. So we took several projects on the water reduction and uh, right now we are industry leader in, uh, in this area globally with the lowest uh, water intensity uh, compared to our competitors. And uh, we consume almost, uh, you can say that uh, 15 to 20% of the water which is uh, consumed in the other conventional uh, viscose production. Uh, other uh, initiatives we have taken, uh, major ones, uh, there's, there's so many different ways, like our uh, five uh, pillar strategy looks at uh, the complete value chain because we are internally looking at our own operation, but we are also looking at our suppliers and downstream uh, value chain, which is our customers. So we want to incorporate the sustainability practices everywhere uh, in, in this value chain. So. Uh, we, as a responsible sourcing organization, like our uh, raw materials is wood. So our wood comes from sustainable uh, forests. And uh, we have most of our uh, forests where we source wood from are in uh, uh, Canada, US, uh, East uh, Europe, uh, European and countries. So uh, we are also, Aditya Birla Group is uh, uh, you know, ranked as globally number one in the forestry management practices, in the industrial forestry practices. So this ranking comes from the global NGO Canada-based uh, organization Canopy, which ranks the uh, people who are in the pulp industry on this uh, forestry practices. So one of our uh, uh, main theme was the biodiversity protection, which is uh, basically to protect the biodiversity in the forest and uh, make sure that uh, the, there's net forest uh, growth as we uh, know, uh, harvest, then we do the three times plantation required uh, for maintaining those forests. And that has also resulted in our carbon positive uh, uh, status because we are the only uh, global producer of uh, uh, MMCF fibers who is uh, carbon positive in scope one and scope two because our uh, forest growth is happening at a quite a accelerated pace and that is able to you know, uh, neutralize complete our scope one scope two emissions. So there are several uh, uh, initiatives in our uh, uh, business and uh, th these are some of the key ones, of course, like uh, on the circularity, and uh, we have a great uh, initiative, and we just uh, won the UN, UN Global Compact Award also last month for the uh, circular fiber that we uh, introduced in the market, and that uh, that was quite an achievement, and that uh, comes with the you know industrial textile waste. So we what we do is like we collect the waste cotton, which normally goes as waste, uh, uh, or uh, it's used to make the rugs downcycled. 
So we collect that and then we recycle it into our process and uh, as a raw material to make uh, uh, viscose fiber. So yeah. that was a, uh, a good uh, innovation and now a lot of brands are now uh, buying this fiber because there's a lot of demand for the circular fibers in the Western countries. Uh, so the, these uh, these products, uh, like another product that we have, Leva Echo, uh, which we launched last year, has grown 500% in one year because this product uses very less water, uh, very less GHG emission. It comes with the transparency FSC certified products. So uh, I would say that uh, the sustainability is a key uh, selling proposition also, not only for uh, you know what our learning has been that if we are able to invest in sustainability, that is also reflected in the products uh, that has grown very sharply in the last uh, couple of years, especially. Scope 1 and Scope 2, we are already in a neutral position now. So we are working towards uh, neutralizing our scope three emissions, which is uh, basically coming from our uh, raw materials or logistics and our uh, sales uh, downstream industry. So in that aspect, uh, uh, like we are working on uh, various initiatives such as uh, uh, adding more renewable energy. Uh, our pulp plants are already almost like 90% renewable uh, using 90% uh, renewable energy. So uh, we are looking at uh, some more renewable energy there. Uh, on our fiber side, uh, we are uh, uh, increasing our uh, uh, bioenergy content. And uh, we are also looking at hybrid, uh, in starting to use some hybrid energy in our, in our plants. Also, we are looking at uh, some innovative technologies where uh, energy consumption can uh, go down. And uh, like... Uh, we are also very hopeful to learn a lot from Mr. Milin and as Kushbu also shared uh, some initiatives on the bioenergy and the new initi initiative that Thermex is uh, taking as a boiler and uh, bioenergy supply. So we are very much interested in exploring such options in uh, our uh, area as well.